Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drillon said that uh, the administration's build, build, build program is a dismal failure. He noted that only nine out of 75 build, build, build fl flagship projects have started. And uh, he doesn't think that there will be any substantial progress to be achieved because two and a half years na lang natitira sa Duterte administration. Senator Frank, look at the administration you previously belong. Six years, not a single infrastructure na nagawa. <laughs> malayong malayo. Sa dami. I will enumerate to you the status of all the infrastructure program. He said that only nine out of 75 Hindi projects have already started. I will started. read to you how many. Oh, gusto nyo na marinig? Number one, LRT, Cavite Extension, Baclaran, Cavite. That's one. MRT Rehab, it started in May 2019, expected to be completed by July 2021. Metro Manila Subway, the groundbreaking ceremony was held on 27 Feb 2019. The 356 billion project is funded through an overseas development assistance loan with a Japanese International Cooperation Agency. Then we have the MRT Common Station, which will connect MRT 3, MRT 7, LR 1, and the Metro Manila Subway. It is a 13,700 square meter concourse comprised of three areas, Area A under DOT, Area B under Ayala Land, and Area C under MRT 7, Project facilita Facilitation by San, San Miguel Corporation. Then we have LRT 2 East Extension. Construction started in 2016. As of August 2019, the project is 64.85% complete. Two stations shall be added in the existing LRT 2. This shall serve as additional 8,000, no, 80,000 passengers daily when completed in the fourth quarter of 2020. Then we have the PNR Clark. Phase 1, Tutuban Malolos construction is ongoing. The groundbreaking was held on 15 Feb 2019. When completed in 2021, travel time between Tutuban, Manila, and Malolos will be reduced from approximately 1 hour and 30 minutes by bus or car via MacArthur Highway to just 35 minutes. Phase 2, Malolos Clark. This project has an ongoing right-of-way acquisition and procurement for civil works and general consultancy. No date yet for the start of construction. When construction is completed in 2022, it will cut travel time between Malolos, Bulacan, and Clark International Airport to just 30 to 35 minutes and from Buendia, Makati to Clark International Airport from two hours via car to just 55 minutes. Then we have the PNR Bicol. Manila, Batangas, Sursogon. There is an ongoing right-of-way and site acquisition and processing of loan agreement for the proposed management consultancy. It is targeted to, the com to be completed in 2022, which shall reduce travel time between Manila and Legazpi City from 13 hours to 6 hours. And then we have PNR Calamba. Bid submission for PNP Calamba Package 1, one kilometer with Blumentritt Station, is on 5 November 2019. PNR Calamba is a 56-kilometer line from Manila to Calamba, Laguna. It will reduce travel time from three hours to just one hour from Manila to Calamba. Then we have the Subic clark Railway. Bidding documents are being finalized while there are ongoing advance works. This project will link Subic Park to Clark International Airport and other major economic hubs on central Luzon like the New York City. Then we have the Mindanao Railway Tagom Davao Digos. Construction will start in the first quarter of 2020 and target completion is set in 2022 with eight stations from Tagom to Digos. The Mindanao Rail shall reduce travel time from Davao del Norte to Davao del Sur from three hours to just one hour. It will service around 110,000 passengers daily. 
Then we have the Bulacan Airport. Construction will start in December 2019 through public-private partnership with San Miguel Holdings Corporation, and it will take four to six years to be completed. It will decongest NAIA and complement operation of Clark International Airport. Then we have the Sangli Airport with an ongoing 24-7 construction. DOTR reported 72% of the project has been completed. The government targets to finish construction and start general aviation operations by November 2019. This will aid the congesting NAIA. Then we have the NAIA rehabilitation. NAIA Terminal 2 rehabilitation is ongoing, which include the expansion of the arrival baggage hall and departure check-in area to accommodate the growing number of passengers with additional air conditioning system, power and lightnings, fire protection, as well as electronics and communication system. Then we have the Clark Airport expansion. Construction of the new passenger terminal building started in 2018. As of August 2019, 74.58% of the project has been completed. And then we have the DPWH completed construction. Three years after President Rodrigo Duterte took office, Department of Public Works and Highway Secretary Mark Villar reported the completion of 9,845 kilometers of road, 2,700 bridges, 4,536 flood control projects, 82 evacuation centers, and 71,803 classrooms. With respect to roads, this include the Laguna Lake Highway, the Candon City Bypass Road in Ilocosur, the Slaughterhouse Road in Davao City, the Pulilan Baliwag Diversion Road in Bulacan, the Calapan Ross Road in Oriental Mindoro, the Mandawi Causeway Road in Cebu, the Dipolog Orqueta Road in Misamis Occidental, the Nomagete North Road to Negros Oriental in the Taytay El Nido Road in Palawan. With respect to the bridges, this include the Anduyan Bridge in La Union, the Bolo Bolo Bridge in Misamis Oriental, the Kagoray Bridge in Occidental Mindoro, the Pasay Kulkulin Pampanga, the Mandiangat Bridge in Nueva Vizcaya, and the Pigalo Bridge in Isabela, relative to flood control projects. This include the pumping stations at Barangay Wawang Polo and Koloong, the Flood Risk Management Project for Cagayan River, the Flood Risk Management Project for Tagaluan River, the Late Tide Embankment Project, and the Pasig Marikina River Flood Control Project. Classrooms. To address the gap in physical facilities required for elementary and secondary schools nationwide, Villar said a total of 7,803 classrooms were constructed benefiting more than 3.2 million lesser, learners. Another 67,600 classrooms are in various stages of implementation. This accomplishment, accomplishments have eased classroom congestion from a ratio of one classroom to 35 learners in 2016 to one classroom to 28 learners in 2018. So we have so many projects.